In today's video, we are building a summer modern themed house in Blocksburg and the total value is $12,000. So I actually really like this build. I really wasn't sure what I was going to make. Um, so I kind of came up with this like a few minutes before recording. Yeah. And I think it came out pretty nice. Um, as you can see, I kind of went a little crazy <laughs> with gardening, but I just wanted to make this feel like a real summer house, but keep it modernized yeah if you rebuild this don't feel obligated to add all of these we also have a bird feeder we got a little bird saying hi oh he's taking a bath so <laughs> that's pretty much what we have so far this is the exterior obviously and if you guys would like to see an interior please comment and let me know this is our garage so we have like another outdoor garage kind of thing and i feel like the lights really make it feel more like summer because <laughs> these are definitely like summer lights i hope you guys like this exterior we're gonna start building right now so get comfy get a snack get some ice cream if it's hot out because it's like really hot right now where i am and it's three in the morning so not fun but <laughs> we're gonna start building so let's -a go <laughs> okay so this is the layout right here this is the second floor and this is the first floor so let's begin and we're gonna place our walls so we're gonna place two walls down right here and we're gonna color these white with the concrete material and then you can copy that wall press c if you're on pc and then place one right here just like that and then you can grab a new wall so you can place two right here and then you're gonna color these brown it doesn't matter what shade of brown you use i think this shade of brown is beautiful it's a custom color so if you don't have the custom color wheel you can replace that with one of these pine cone is very pretty as well so once you have that done you're gonna copy that and place one right here okay so now you can copy this white wall once again and then place two right here and then you can just place the concrete wall on the rest of the layout so no one's gonna really care about what the back of your house looks like so now we can copy this brown wall again and we're gonna place that around the entire second floor exterior which will include both bedrooms so you can make it like an adult bedroom like a kid bedroom over here so we can actually go ahead and place the interior walls i'm not sure what color we're going to use yet so i'm not going to bother coloring them but this will be one bedroom and another bedroom so downstairs this is going to be the bathroom and then this is going to be the living room kitchen and dining area and then the stairs will be right here and the stairs we're going to use are these modern l stairs so you can place those right there on that marking but i'm not going to do that right now okay so now all the walls are placed we're going to grab the roof so we're going to use the slanted roof and we're going to make sure it's on manual placement we're going to begin on this point right here i'm going to change grids as well and then we're going to go up three to the right by two down three so it'll look like that and then i'm just going to like increase it a little bit raise it up and then we're going to color it dark stone gray and then the rest is going to be the wall color obviously and the ceiling color is probably going to be white and concrete as well so we can copy that roof go upstairs and we're gonna place it starting at this point and then go back three to the left two and then back down three so just like that and then yes we're gonna raise it up again like that and then obviously just recolor it so you match the wall so just like that and then you can copy that once again and we're gonna place it back here and then raise it up again and then back here we're gonna use the flat roof because i'm gonna save money so we're using the flat roof just to cover that hole and then just color it the same to match the rest of the roof so that's it we're gonna go downstairs and we are going to place pillars so we're gonna grab the plain thin pillar and we're gonna place one right here so basically one square in front of this point we're gonna color it white with this smooth plastic then we're gonna copy that and we're gonna place one two squares next to it and then we're gonna place one more two squares next to that one so we're placing one every two squares then we're gonna grab the flat roof and we're gonna start at this point go over to this pillar go back through to this wall you can continue back to the end of this wall and then over and then just cover the rest of that area and that's it i'm gonna recolor it probably gonna use the white again this time i'm gonna use this rectangular tile Ooh, that kind of looks kind of fancy so this is basically like a mini garage area yeah hopefully it doesn't look weird now we're gonna place the windows so i am going to grab this small panel window and i'll be placing one down on this wall i'm gonna color it black and then i'm gonna give it a seashell hue i just love doing that i don't know i think it looks nice it makes it look brighter i guess and then we're gonna copy one over and then we're just gonna center those then we're gonna do the same thing on this wall so just copy those windows and then place two more over here make sure you copy them after you color them that way you will save some money yeah we need to save money at least i do like i am always broken blocks 
Blocksburg, it's not even funny. Like I never have over a hundred thousand dollars in Blocksburg. It is not fun. We're gonna grab the medium panel window, place it up here on the second floor and then recolor it to match those windows. So that's it for the windows for now. We're gonna grab this modern reveal door because I kind of have an obsession with that door. I think it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna color it black and then white. And now we're gonna go back to the windows. I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna grab this clear thin window and we're gonna place one on both sides. But first I'm gonna color it, of course. So I'm gonna place one down and then color it to match the rest of the windows, and then place another on the other side. I just think that looks so lovely. I also kind of want to make this wall dark stone gray with smooth plastic. You don't have to change that if you don't want to. I just, I don't know why. I feel like that would look better. So I kind of want to add some pillars, but I also don't want to make the walls look bad. I want to place the plain pillar and then color it white with the smooth plastic like we do with these, except I'm only going to place it on certain walls. So I'm only going to place it on the front door wall and then this back wall. And I'm not going to place it anywhere else because I feel like with this roof, it's going to look really bad. I'm going to grab a floor now and we're going to make the <laughs> driveway. Oh my gosh. This is like, uh, it's kind of like a slim driveway. See if we can place a car back here. Okay. No, we can totally park a car there. All right. We're good. I don't know if you can park one of these. I don't have enough money i'm broke you can test this out for me and let me know <laughs> i low-key want a moped in real life like i just kind of want to ride this around like ride this like dunga donuts or something okay i'm sorry i'm getting like segued it is too late for me right now <laughs> all right i'm gonna copy that and we're gonna outline this area <gasps> oh over here okay i have an idea for what we're gonna do over here <laughs> um this is obviously the front door entrance with the porch patio kind of thing i'm kind of like blocking this build like <laughs> yellow toad i'm kind of in the way right now so sorry guys you can't see my beautiful yellow toad outfit i know it's beautiful anyway we're gonna get back to this so we're gonna grab a floor and we're gonna place it right here and we're gonna color it a shade of brown so i'm gonna use pine cone and we're gonna grab the grass material and here we're gonna plant some stuff yeah Ooh, what if we outlined it with like a fence this like steel cable railing and then we just recolor this to the brown that we've been using color this to like white oh i think that would kind of look sharp <gasps> i kind of like that so we're like fencing in our plants so like the deer don't eat them yeah i'm not gonna lie i have no idea what i'm gonna do for the walkway so we're gonna skip that all right we're gonna plant we're gonna grab these like box hedges okay and then we're gonna place um blossoming bush one of my favorite items in this game and we'll place that right there maybe we'll place two bushes and then we'll place one box hedge in the center yeah i actually think that's gonna look better i can place another one here i'm gonna take this box hedge i'm actually gonna place it over here oh you might hit that with your car just be careful when you're driving okay we're gonna replace it with a sunflower if you don't have the gardening skills unlocked in order to acquire any of these items don't worry you don't need to use these plants you can just use whatever you'd like or you don't have to garden at all i just really like to so yeah don't feel obligated to if you can't place one right here as well i don't know i hope nobody like crashes into these bushes when they're driving to their garage okay i actually forgot we could make paths with this thing so <laughs> we're gonna do that <gasps> wait i just got a really cool idea i think so i'm grabbing this plain short fence and i'm going to make something over here i'm gonna color it the same as the walls we're gonna plant a bunch of stuff over here okay so we're gonna grab a wildflower right here and we're gonna place one there and we're gonna color it the same as your sunflower and then we're gonna place one right here so basically on every like line kind of like turning them so they look like they're like looking at you as you're walking up the walkway yeah i don't i don't really know and then we're gonna grab a tulip and we're gonna place this right behind that flower Flower, and i'm gonna use this custom color because i love it and then we're gonna do the same thing then we're gonna grab the short grass and we're gonna place that behind the tulip basically all right and final plant we're gonna grab this natural plant replacing this right here in between the grass and the flower i feel like there may be too much yellow going on so i'm gonna recolor these flowers to seashell and right here i'm gonna grab a light i think i'm gonna use that new garden orb light thing I don't know where that is oh this is it yeah look at that and then i like coloring it linen because it has like this yellow glow i'm gonna grab this fence i'm just gonna outline this area over here and then under this fence what if we like planted a tree should we plant a tree I might plant a tree back here for fun planting trees for fun oh and then this one yeah this is a good one right here oh i like that i like it okay and then i'll probably just grab like pieces of grass and just 
throw them around the yard and like this natural plant oh wait i want birds so we're replacing a bird bath over here how about some like rocks do we like rocks can we like shrink that rock ah <gasps> we can shrink it what if we did this like stepping stone rocks to the driveway we're grabbing this rectangular stepping stone we're gonna color it white with bricks and that's gonna basically oh we got a bird <laughs> Hi, little birdie. Hello. Enjoy your bath. You have a nice sunflower to accompany you. Oh, I did forget about a wall trim. I wanted to use this like flat crown molding over here just for those two walls, not the rest. But I was thinking of a wall trim down here. We're going to color the same as the wall color right here. That's it. I'm only placing on that wall though. It's summer, obviously. So I'm thinking like, what if we place these string lights? I don't know if we're going to like get anywhere with this, but I mean, it's still modern, obviously right like also this is kind of bothering me that there's like no windows up here so i think we're actually gonna place two windows up here the modern panel windows up here that's that's it can i like plant a tree up here oh i was actually joking about that wait i think that kind of looks nice oh that actually kind of works okay i'm gonna give it like a wooden planter thing well that was unexpected i didn't expect that to actually look nice okay so i think that's it for the exterior i don't want to like go crazy and overwhelm everybody with my gardening <laughs> i hope this isn't too much i just love summer like who doesn't you know just wanted to like add some plants yeah i can't find this light that i'm trying to find <laughs> oh this one okay one more final touch okay so how about that oh not green luigi okay <laughs> i have luigi's mansion on my mind best nintendo direct we've had in a while that is it i think that puts this build together yeah so i think that's it for the exterior i hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you like this build please let me know if you'd like to see an interior i actually think it'd be really fun to make so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that i actually like this so yellow toad approves um <laughs> thank you all so much again and i'll see you all in my next video love you guys bye